Interesting. They had like new bosses in the firefight. Weapon coding. Instant purchase. New weapon model. Okay, so that rocket launcher is a new weapon model when you buy it to the pass. BTP Sentinel Defense. New BTP map command. Okay, this is something totally new. That's interesting. Actually, kind of want to play that now. Okay, but that looks cool. The BTP defense mode thing. Like, I want to play that. That's something new. We've never had that in Halo. Yo, Luke, what's up, man? Didn't see you in the chat earlier. So did we get playable elites? <laughs> Yeah, right. No, that's not happening. I'm surprised we didn't get the Relic remake, though. Dude, is actually, is Xbox Live down right now? Like, how come I can't log in? I think Xbox Live is down. Bro, literally, as the Halo Infinite update goes live, Xbox Live goes down? No way, dude. Bruh. Literally can't play Halo. You dropped this trailer on me, Microsoft. And this is how you repay me? Your Xbox Live service literally break the moment the game goes, update goes live. Anvil Operation Launch. 20 tier pass, new BTB mode, a refresh of the exchange, upcoming Waypoint Chronicle. A brief history, sort of kind of explaining what the Anvil Project Station is and all that kind of stuff. Operation Pass. All the way until the 30th, Operation Anvil will be active. You'll be able to acquire a new Sanghili themed Asalir armor. I'm just seeing Ass. <laughs> uh, new emblem and additional Spartan points to spend in the exchange. For those wondering, that ass takes inspiration from two particular Sanghili helmets for Halo Infinite. The horn is derived from the Enforcer and the mouth guard from the Infiltration Harness of the Special Operations Elites. So you get, looks like you get this weapon model and the coding when you buy into the pass here. Wait, the premium pass is a thousand credits? I thought it was 500. Did they just bump up the price on the premium pass? It was 500 previously, right? Now it's, wait, wait, how come it says premium pass is 1000, but then it says 500 credits will make the pass durable and will not expire. I'm confused now. Like, what's going on here? I still can't log in. That's good. We have pretty standard stuff, though. 500 crests will make it durable. BTP Century Defense. This looks interesting. This is like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, bringing new experiences in the Halo while utilizing what you already have. So, a new BTB mode has arrived in Halo and introducing BTB Century Defense. Adjutant Resolution, if I pronounced that correctly. One of Zeta Halo's sub-monitors who you met and fought in Halo Infinite's campaign has decided to jump into some multiplayer action. Two of them simply known as sentries in this context. Or on each team, your objective is to protect your sentry and destroy the enemy's objective. Okay, that's pretty cool. Each team has 2,000 points. As damage is dealt to your sentries, the available score drops. And if you reach zero, the game is over. Each map will have at least one repair field that spawns in a neutral location in addition to providing health regeneration for your fellow Spartans and vehicles, it will also repair your sentries. That's cool. I like that. That's fun. I can definitely see myself playing this like a lot. This is really cool. It's on Fragmentation, High Power, Deadlock, Oasis, Scar, and the new map Command. Command being this map right here. Giving just basically like BTB live fire vibes right here. BTB Command is this new symmetrical BTB created map created by our amazing community cartographers and will also be added into regular BTB rotations. Also, it's actually made by the community. I always just assume that community maps are, are higher quality than what we see here for Command. Like, Command looks good, though. It's a solid map. Waypoint Chronicle. Coming later this month, the new Waypoint Chronicle will explore a day in the life aboard Anvil Station. And so it's kind of just more lore stuff. Give you a PDF and an audiobook on YouTube. So that's kind of cool. Some new exchange items. I can't log in. This is fantastic. The shop. And it looks like a lot of stuff that was kind of rehashed from previous shops right there as well. I mean, I'm sure they're going to be overpriced as they usually are. I mean, it looks nice. These are cool armor sets. Like the Jackal inspired armor sets for Rock Shots are really cool. But I'm not about to drop that kind of cash. But yeah, this armor set looks sick though. It doesn't really look very Sanghili, but it does look cool. You got the Commando rifle for the, uh, the Jackal season. That's pretty cool. I really want to play the sentry mode, man, but it's just not happening right now. It's like literally not possible. But the Jackal customization, right? Like this actually looks like something you would see from like the Jackals, right? But when you look at this armor set that's coming with Halo Infinite for this pass, like it doesn't really feel very elite. Like if anything, it looks more like Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Tur Turtles, right? Out of context of looking like an elite, this armor set looks really freaking cool. I will actually grind out the pass and earn this, but it doesn't really give me that elite vibe much like 
how this armor set right here gives me the vibes like this looks like the jackals that they had an armor set right but this armor set looks really sick I'm definitely gonna grind it. it looks awesome but there are still two things i want to know more about this operation in particular when we look at the customization overview for halo infinite content update 32 when this blog went live we saw in the background there was that relic remake and we've seen leaks of this going around the map being renamed as vestige and you can kind of see with this one it looks very similar to the forge maps that we've been receiving recently within matchmaking showing that it's a little more standard, not as flashy as some of the other Forge content that we've seen on the chat on this game previously as well. I mean, it's a Relic, it looks awesome. Now I was kind of expecting this to come in, but we haven't received it at all. So I don't know what's going on. Another very interesting thing is that originally this event Anvil operation was originally supposed to be called Spartan Surplus. If you look up right here, Spartan Surplus, it's supposed to be from July 2nd to the 30th. So why? The name change and also saying new Mark IV themed armor pieces, which is utilizing Rakshasa as kind of like the showcase of the armor set for this new Sanghealy armor. So I'm wondering if something has changed in the back end where maybe Anvil is a showcase of like things are going to continue when it comes to these operations for Halo Infinite and things are going to continue on throughout the rest of this year. Because funny thing, when I thought, saw, first saw Spartan Surplus, I was like, okay. This is like a liquidation sale kind of naming convention when it comes to Halo stuff. But hey, maybe it's going to continue on. Maybe we'll still see some live server stuff here on the channel. I just want to know where Relic is, man, because I want to play on this map. This map is a fantastic experience. I know it doesn't look the flashiest when it comes to this forging. Maybe after hearing some backlash from the community, they, they decided to go back to the drawing board and maybe art it up a bit more or something. But I want, I want this in the game, man. It looks ready to go. If you made it this far into the video, I hope I earned your like and subscribe. If you want to let us know if you made it to the end here, leave a green heart in the comments so I know who the real ones are in the video. Thank you all for watching. Check out any content here if you missed anything from recently. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.